to our next topic, okay? And our next topic today is, is essentially how people on the internet have reacted to me. And what I mean by that is over the years, people hear of the name Dark Side Phil, and then they watch a clip, and then they react in some way. Now, I'm going to be honest. I do feel like 99% of the time when people react to me on the internet, they're reacting to an out-of-context, already negatively spun detractor video. Case in point, you're going to see right here, um, this big viral clip that went viral a year ago for me playing Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is literally an out-of-context clip that makes me look like a buffoon, right? Not to say that I'm a, a super genius. I'm not. But uh, that's basically how this, this happens all the time, okay? By the way, thank you to Dick Jones. Dick Jones just gifted five memberships to the community. Thank you so much, Dick Jones. And everyone who gets a gifted membership, please enjoy. Remember, you're going to get emotes, a chat crown badge, and you get to ignore slow mode in the chat. So thank you, Dick Jones, for supporting. I really appreciate that. Okay. Um, so first of all, let's watch the clip. All right. This is a clip from a year ago, and now people are still referencing it today. You can see this is someone who reposted it September 20th. So here we go. Ready? Let's watch this clip. To magically know what we're doing, even though the game has absolutely no explanation for anything. Oh, I see, I see. I can't grab the platform. Yeah. Is it a pressure plate? Right? If I put all the balls in here, does it weigh it down enough that that opens the door? I mean, that's a lot of tedious work. Why would we do it that way? Oh. Right? What is the puzzle here? Why do we even need this thing? Yeah. For the record, I have no idea if this is what we're supposed to be doing. I guess all of them need to be in there, maybe? Oh, look at that. I'm gonna put all of them in there anyways. Probably just grab them one by one, huh? Is there <laughs> even a point to this, like besides me? Right? I don't know. That would be lame. That's not the point. Huh? What? I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I got yo this is great that's a funny clip that's hilarious all right let's keep going I don't have wait OCD. face bar does pause even on on twitter okay good you just, just want to get them all in there clip that one you sons of bitches wow that was a really <laughs> ingeniously thought out puzzle wasn't it <laughs> that was one that i definitely needed to use all of my facilities and all of my iq to figure this one out the one that it literally solved its fucking self. Yes, it did. Here you go. I mean, a bridge didn't allow the balls to push the button. But there's a limit to the amount of things you can attach. When the limit is surpassed, all attachments undo themselves. So DSP's bridge fell apart. The balls fell into place. <laughs> there you go except it doesn't make sense because you're saying there's a bridge but the balls were also on the pressure plate so the balls already had weight and were on the pressure plate but the game's engine for some odd reason thought oh because they're on a bridge now it has less weight no it doesn't it still has the same weight if the balls are on the pressure plate, whether they're attached or not as a bridge, they still have the same weight. So they would still be weighing the pressure plate down and it still would have activated. But the game had a mechanic where because they were in a bridge, somehow that was alleviating the weight, which doesn't make sense. I could see if the balls were completely above the pressure plate. Well, let's say here's the pressure plate down here and they're just in a bridge across, not touching the plate. Fair enough. But they were clearly touching the plate. The plate was weighing down. It just wasn't giving enough weight for some reason, right? So I think the point of this clip is that what they're trying to say is, oh, look, this person who's a VTuber said, I can build a vehicle that can push all the balls into the room 
that'll weigh down this pressure play and that'll solve the puzzle. Phil is too dumb to do that. So he literally just connected all the balls and threw them in there. And then eventually they auto disconnected because he was attaching too much shit. And then it solved the puzzle anyway, but he's too dumb to realize how the puzzle worked. No, I understood how the puzzle worked. It's called weighing the pressure plate. The point I was making was it didn't make sense because all the balls were already on it and it didn't solve it. And then it did with the same amount of balls. So no, what you're saying is invalid. Okay, their, their argument in this clip is actually completely invalid. It has the same weight whether it's a bridge or not. It was sitting on the pressure plate. Somehow when the balls detached from themselves, they had more weight and triggered the puzzle. That doesn't make sense. Okay, now you can argue the VTuber did better than me. Yeah, they did. They figured out the vehicle should just push all the balls in there, right? That I'll agree with. But at the same time, there's something you need to understand about Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, which is why out of clips, out of context clips like this make no sense. This game, you could do the challenges in any order. These are open world challenges you find in the world, and you could do them in any order in any direction, right? This isn't like, oh, you did one, and then you get to the next one progressively, and then you do the next one progressively. I literally could have ran into this challenge early in the game while the VTuber ran into it later already having a better understanding of the fusion and building mechanics. And the first thing that comes to their mind is let's build a vehicle because I've done it a bunch of times before. This might have been like the first time that I saw something like that and was like, oh, I don't even realize that you can build vehicles and stuff. So the clip is completely out of context. It doesn't make any sense, but it's meant and edited to make it look like I'm a dunce so you can laugh at me, right? And this is literally how the internet has treated me for a very long time. Let's do everything completely out of context, not explain how the game works to make Phil look stupid. And then we all laugh at him because he said he's the worst gamer on the planet. Ha ha ha. No, you're disingenuous. You're a fucking piece of shit because you misrepresented, right? The one argument the one argument you can make is that creating a vehicle to push the balls is way more creative than just connecting the balls and throwing them on the plate. You're absolutely right. I brute forced it. They finessed it. Sure, I will absolutely give you that. But to say that I'm a dunce and let's laugh at Phil because he's so stupid, there's I'm not stupid in this clip at all. You don't even know at what point in the fucking game I'm doing this puzzle. This could have been my second puzzle in the playthrough while this was their next to last. So there's absolutely no validity to the clip whatsoever. And whoever made it and edited it like that, you can kiss my hairy ass because you're a fucking piece of shit. Okay. Seriously. Oh, by the way, we all know I don't look up solutions. I don't ask for help. I'm figuring it out on the fly myself. I don't know who this VTuber is, and I'm not saying that they do. But again, it's not an apples to apples comparison. You don't know what their methodology is for playing the game. Have they watched someone else play the game and then they recreate the puzzle solution or are they doing it genuinely? You don't know. So again, you can't fucking say this shit in context. It's, there's no context here. It's an out of context clip to make me look bad. That's what people do. They create out of context clips and they say, haha, feel stupid, right? I'm not saying I'm a genius. I'm not. I suck a lot of the time. I do. By the way, here's the other funny part about this clip. I want you to watch something here, okay? Let's start right from the beginning. Here's my clip. It has absolutely no explanation for anything. Now here's the VTuber, super clear. Okay, so why do you think my clip is fuzzy and looks like shit and the VTuber's clip is super clear? Because they didn't take my clip. They took it from a detractor channel. They went to a channel that already takes all my shit out of context at a degraded quality. And then they edited it into their own video, but they took nice quality footage of the VTuber, nice and clear, because they took it from the VTuber's real content. Do you see how dis fucking ingenuous this shit is? No one watched my original fucking content at all. Instead, they went to the right to the detractor with the fuzzy shit quality because they stole it from my channel, and that's what they use for their fucking funny clip. Yeah, it's fucking stupid. You're brain dead. You you all oh, living for the memes, right? The meme isn't real. You invented the meme. You literally created the meme from taking things out of context. When explained in context, you oh, well, then this clip doesn't really have much validity. Correct. It doesn't. None of them do. That's the point, okay? Now, let's watch another one because this one might actually be true. I'm going to be honest about this one. This one might actually...